Cardano in 2022, along with the rest of the market, did not perform well price-wise. You know, that's just something that happens in these bear market cycles. So you really have to look at some other metrics to see how performance is, is really going during that time. And in fact, Cardano laid down some pretty impressive numbers, but one key one that I think we should look at is adoption. So throughout 2022, Cardano was adding users, was adding holders, okay? The number of Cardano wallets actually increased from about 3 million to about 3.8 million. Okay, this is a huge, impressive jump during a time where the market just frankly is not performing that well. And in fact, this has really continued into 2023. Now in January, just from the start of the year to now, Cardano has actually added about 50,000 new wallets to its protocol just this month alone. You can see the numbers here. It started out January 1st at 3.842867. 3 it's up to 3.894735. And this is as of January 25th. So those numbers are probably even higher now. Now, why, why do we look at this, right? Why do, we, why do we really care? Well, the part that has really been lacking for Cardano has been adoption. There hasn't really been much done with the network to this point. Yes, there are developments going on. Yes, there's smart contracts and dApps and stuff like that being built at this time. But you got to remember, okay, the full functionality of Cardano is still really in its infancy. It, it has not even hit full stride yet, okay? Smart contracts couldn't be used until 2021. DAP creation really didn't start hitting its stride until 2022 when the Vassal hard fork was implemented. So right now you almost have to look at Cardano as a baby, okay? And I don't say that in a, in a bad light or anything like that. Cardano is in its infancy. It's a baby at this point, okay? And it needed to be nurtured and fed and have its diaper changed. This is a horrible... <laughs> <laughs> but you guys get what I'm saying, right? It it was not self-sufficient, okay? It was not self-sufficient during these times, but it is getting to that point now, okay? These are the years where Cardano is hitting puberty. It's going through being a teenager. It's learning how to function as an adult. And once it gets through this, this is where people will actually start to take it seriously. Okay, that's just the thing is people didn't take it seriously because of the length of time it's taken to get to this point. But when people see the solution that Cardano has for all the issues in, in crypto, okay, they're gonna be impressed. They're gonna be impressed at this full grown adult that Cardano has really grown into. Ah, that was a good analogy, I think. Hopefully you guys thought that was a good one, but this is great to see. Adoption for Cardano still continues to be at all time highs, great network growth, great growth in, in other sectors, like again, smart contracts, dApps, all these projects that are being launched and the devs cannot wait to run with all the things that Cardano is rolling out. So appreciate you guys as always. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys liked my analogies. <laughs> Though some of those were a little questionable, but I appreciate you guys as always. Hopefully you're having a great day so far and I really hope to catch you in the next one. Take care.